Welcome everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we are going to create a fully operatable weather forecast website, which would help you learn the basic of web development. We can divide this project into three parts, only technical terms, prototype. In the first prototype, we'll have a look on how we can fetch weather data from the open weather API and display it in our website. In the second prototype, we'll create a database where we can store weather data and show past seven days data. In the third and the final prototype, we'll learn how to create local storage and how we can host our website in the hosting platform. Without doing any delay, let's dive in. For the first prototype, we'll look how we can fetch data and display it in our website. We'll not go through every single line of code, but have an overview of it. Firstly, we need to have the API URL and an API key which is provided in the open with the API itself. Then we need to create an asynchronous function and await keyword in our JavaScript so that we can fetch data. We also need to implement try and catch block for proper error handling to handle any error occurred during the fetch process. After we fetch data, we need to display it in our website. For that, we have to implement DOM manipulation. In DOM manipulation, we need to select the HTML tag and insert the fetch data. We also need to add an event listener to a button to create a functionable search button. For the second prototype, we need to create a database and connect it with frontend with the help of backend. For database, I have used MySQL and for backend, I have used PHP. Firstly, in MySQL, we need to create a database and a table that would contain all the weather data. Then we need to connect database with the help of PHP. We also need to insert the data in database and display the data of the table using PHP. Then we need to link the PHP files in the JavaScript so that the PHP file could insert and display the data of database simultaneously. The display data from database is in the form of JSON data. So we need to use DOM manipulation similar to the first prototype to insert the data in the HTML tag. After the completion of the second prototype, we can see the past seven days data of the city we have searched. Uh, these are the data of the default city and we can also search the data for other cities too. Uh, the data will only show for the days you have searched the city name and not for the days you haven't. We have came to the third and the final prototype. In this prototype, first of all, we need to insert the fetch data to the local storage of the browser. Then we need to create a sync function that would check the network status and display the data from the local storage if the network status is offline. After the implementation of the local storage, the data of the search city would go and be saved in the local storage of our browser to view them. First of all, we need to open inspect. Uh, then we have to go to application where we can see the data in our local storage of our browser and to check if it is working or not first of all we need to go to network and go offline then search the city that we have saved in our local storage uh, it will show the data and if we serve the data of cities that is not in the local storage it will throw an error finally we need to host our website in a hosting platform for that i have used infinity free this hosting platform provides us a free domain which helps us to deploy our files and host our website. Finally, we have came to the end of this video. In a summary, we have learned how to fetch data and display it. Secondly, we learn how to insert and display data from database for server-side caching by the help of backing. And finally, we will learn how to implement local storage for browser caching and host our website in the hosting platform. Hope this video helped you learn the basic of web development and how does a website work. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and until next time, coding.